Hey there YouTube, it's Math Bowl and welcome to my second of three fall eBay purchase recap videos. This video we're going to show you my cards that I got and I have six separate auctions. The first two are technically four by six cards, team issued photo cards, but well the rest are cards cards. So anyway, I'm going to show you these in the order with which I purchased them in the fall. I got six Four by six pirate trading cards, and you know, Ross Ollendorf, he had a good season for the Pirates there. And Sports Illustrated, I even made, no, made a nice little article about him. Then we have two Francisco Cervellis, and this is what made me buy this. I have one of them, but I mean, these cost me about $3.09 a piece. That's with tax and shipping. So, a chance to pick up two more Cervellis. Yes, please. I mean, it does have the smudge there, but that's okay. This next one, I did not see the smudge in the photos, but I have one of these already. Well, now I have two of them. we got Gregory Polanco, who was... Oh, let's not gripe about him. And what got me to find this auction to begin with is I was doing a search for Jeff Locke, and I can't pass up cheap Jeff Locke autographed items. I really like the guy for kind of quirky reasons, but yeah, there we go. We got six of those for $18.55. So then I got five more of these 4 by 6 cards, and they're a little different. Rivers Casino, which is pretty close to the ballpark, was having a day where apparently they were doing a meet and greet with different pirates. And they have this Grant Jackson, which is pretty cool. He has since passed, so I don't have that. And there's Steve Blass, one of my favorites. So there we go. We got Steve Blass. There's Dave Justy. Very good. A solid pitcher for the Pirates. Rick Rushell, Big Daddy. And the fifth person that is advertised, they didn't do a special Rivers Casino card for him. They just did the Pirates team issue card, which... I wonder why. Maybe Tukovi didn't want his name on the Rivers car. Maybe they didn't. Maybe something goofed up and they didn't get to it. But in any case, there's Nair Kent Tukovi. Tukovi and Blast are two of my favorite old timer pirates, so it was cool to add them for under six dollars. Under six dollars a card. Tax and shipping. So the next one, doing a search on some post serial cards here. Local guy, Tito Francona, on the 61 post serial card. That's a pretty good looking autograph, and the card isn't too beat up. Obviously, it was hand cut for just over $10. And I have no idea what a Strata Magic is. Um, hopefully not showing my age, because this was, appears to be... Showing his stats from 1956, so I'm assuming this must be like 1957-ish. No idea. Some pretty cool looking stuff there. Has a nice autograph of his. Pick that up. Signed. The item with tax and shipping for $7.42. That, that's a bargain. Got two more to show you, and this one's kind of unique. It is unique. The Pittsburgh Pirates won a baseball game without even getting a hit during the 2022 season sometime in May. Oh, it's on the card, May 15th. The Pirates were the sixth team in MLB history to win a game without a hit. There were some walks and a fewer's choice. So, dang. That had, this Topps Now card just had to go in my collection. Uh, I got one more item to show you. Now, my first video had four really good items, like kind of bigger items. This were my trading cards, which I don't buy a whole lot of cards on eBay anymore. My third video will have some purchases I made from the Mainline Autographs eBay store. So, here's the final one. On the 1958 Tops, we got Vern Law. He does sign through the mail for 8 bucks per and loads up with inscriptions. And when I saw this, I'm thinking, okay, I'm not sure if I have that card already signed by him. But 
with tax and shipping for $11.13. I'm going to go for it. So we added that to the collection. Yeah, he was the Cy Young winner and a member of the 1960 World Series Pittsburgh Pirates. So there you go, folks. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite. I upload three videos a week, a TTM video on Monday, and an autograph and or trading card video such as this on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite. I really would appreciate it if you would like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Take care, everybody.